Ladies and gentlemen in the Shred Gaming to the Com video, let us discuss the Xbox One and DirectX 12. So, I'm sure many of you are aware that DX12 is going to be coming to the Xbox One. However, there have been various claims that have popped up, for example, on NeoWin. And on NeoWin, the founder and CEO of Stardock, uh, Brad Wardell, discussed it. And he said that he believes it's going to be like giving all of the Xbox One owners currently out there a new GPU that's twice as fast as the old one. And then he added, not literally, it's software, not hardware, but yes, the X12 games will be more than likely twice as fast. Now, I'm going to pause for a second and kind of jump out. Now, there is a lot of technical analysis on this that I could do, but I just don't have time over the next couple of days. Also, that's the reason I haven't done Infamous. Why is kind of personal, basically, I'm just kind of moving stuff and um, kind of sorting out my own home, to be honest with you. I've also enrolled on a couple of online courses, so I'm trying to get down all the course materials, in case you're wondering, because I'm no doubt you are. You are a super curious person, no doubt. Um, I'm actually enrolling on some uh, uh, advanced programming and also some um, parallel computing and GPU courses and stuff like that, because I want to uh, improve my knowledge for you guys. So, anyway. Uh, so, anyway, as I said this started to escalate pretty quickly. For example, SCE's R&D um, on the research te uh, team, uh, on the developers there, Rich Forster said, well, that made me spiral. DX12 will push GPUs twice as hard, leading to overheating. Meanwhile, um, Court Stratton, who is from Ice Team, the PS4 might I add, they're obviously responsible for a lot of low-level optimizations, engines, that type of thing. He said, new SDKs can significantly improve performance on the hardware. Don't know about the X12 slash X1 specifically, not my department. However, he did point out, well, you know, it's great people are skeptical because he wants to know exactly what got 50 to 100% faster. And um, faster at what? You know, he wants more clarification there. Meanwhile, um, certainly not the only one, Treyarch engineer Dan Olson pointed out um, no idea why people go on record uh, for this type of stuff. And he also said, um, Dean Ash Ashton, I'm sorry, there's two, uh, two Ds, so I misspoke. I misspoke. Uh, two times performance on Xbox One when using DX12. Uh, he, he said, that article nearly made me choke on my cup of tea. And then um, there was another guy, uh, Kevin Goose. Uh, he's a software developer on .NET slash Windows Phone. Uh, Ryujit slash SimD, DX12, Mantle, moving back to lower abstraction layers. Programming is about rediscovering the same principles again and again. Billy O'Neill, meanwhile, um, he actually works for Microsoft and also uh, contributes to uh, Stack Overflow. Um, and he's also a C Sharp and C developer. So. He, of course, knows his stuff. He said, both major consoles have a large number of weak source CPU cores, hence the motivation to optimize that case. End quote. Well, I'm surprised he actually said weak source CPUs. I mean, yeah, it's true, but still. What are he crying? The CPUs are weak? Yeah, well... I mean, at the end of the day, they're low-power devices, right? They're specifically created to be low power, low heat generating, and that's why there's a lot of them, that's why there's an incredible need to split your work over uh, multi-cores, and otherwise you need to go wide, go parallel. Um, regarding the GPUs, there is a lot of analysis I need to do over that, I need to check the whole build conference thing, and there was a lot of notes from Microsoft, but I, I just don't see it. That's the thing. Um, I fifty percent, a hundred percent. What are they referring to? That's the problem. I don't see how DX12 is going to give you a hundred percent extra performance. That's like me saying, okay, well, 
if the game runs at 30, it's suddenly going to be able to run at 60. Or if it was running at 30, it's going to run at 45 if it was um, 30 frames a second. It doesn't really work. You know, it's like... I don't really see how it's going to be that much of a performance boost because the GPU itself has issues. There's also the EX RAM concerns as well that I've discussed quite heavily before. Now, once again... If we were to look at both systems, they both have some shortcomings. The CPU of both is fairly low level, uh, so low performance. And there's also a lot of reserve there. I mean, it's got two cores on both systems that are reserved for the OS. Goodness knows which of the two CPUs are more powerful out of the PS4 and Xbox One. Let's just say they're the same, because Sony are remaining tight dipped. I've seen numbers which indicate the Xbox One's CPU is performing slightly better um, in terms of raw clock speed but I've also seen benchmarks which show the PS4's CPU outperform the Xbox One but because the details are not really that forthcoming and the developers won't really say much it's a bit difficult to know but that's so let's just assume they're roughly on par um the Xbox One, of course, is also missing a lot of ROPs. It's got about half the amount, so that leaves 16, which is a little bit dangerous when it comes to 1080p. 16 ROPs is basically getting to the point, particularly when you start cranking up anti-aliasing and so forth. It, it starts to becoming a little bit dicey whether you can actually have enough uh, performance there. And it's also got less fill rate in terms of TMUs as well, texture mapping units, and a few other, few other bits of bobs too. So it's like... You know, at the end of the day, there there is that to think of. That's not to say that you can't improve performance with the SDK. I do believe that the X12 is going to improve the situation of the Xbox One. I do believe it's going to make it significantly easier to port, uh, particularly PC games that are DX12 to the Xbox One. But there is a lot of skepticism right now from Microsoft uh, on against Microsoft and that's not to say that I wouldn't like to see it I would love to see it but I'm going to remain somewhat on the fence on this one I, I I would like to see exactly what they're referring to on the twice the performance that's the thing it's like twice the performance doesn't really tell you much so anyway guys I'm going to close this out now um, and let you guys do a little bit of research on this one yourselves and let me know what you think I'm going to be doing a lot of research on this over the next few days because I don't want to speak too much on it. I do want to check out quite a lot of resources that are popping up right now. So hopefully you guys will stick with me on this. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. It's most curious. I'm very, very surprised at Billy O'Neill's response. He doesn't seem too... infused with the prospect but i guess we'll have to see anyway i'll see you soon take care bye for now